What's up guys, Sean Mayo here, and I'm going to walk you through uh, using your new Step Ahead uh, software. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and log out and log in. Uh, this is your login screen, so you're going to have um, your email and password that you were sent. Um, and you'll just log in there and click Submit. Uh, the, your login ID is going to be the uh, the email you use to sign up with Gumroad uh, it's created by us automatically uh, with uh, the password that you were um, previously sent. Uh, now once we're logged in, uh, this is going to be a lot more uh, robust than what you were using as far as the, uh, the mobile spreadsheet if, if you actually have access to that version. Uh, so what we've done is we've made it very easy uh, if you're using tactical arbitrage or even if you're not uh, to sort out the, um, the sites any way that you want. You can select custom stores now. You can make your own list of the stores you want. If you are using tactical arbitrage, you can see uh, only the sites that are supported by that tool. Uh, you can also uh, view the sites that uh, only have UPC support uh, there, or you can make your own custom list of sites uh, based on um, whatever criteria you have. So uh, if you only, if you've bought some bulk sourcing list and you only want to see the data from those sites, you can also do that. You can um, just go to your custom stores, which we'll get into in a moment, and select which stores you want. Uh, another thing that we've done is we have, um, we're now archiving all the deals that we get so we don't just delete them. Uh, you can actually look at um, every deal that's ever been put in here. You can also look at deal history for a specific site. Uh, so uh, where this is going to come uh, and, and later on be very useful is uh, looking at historical data for a specific site. Uh, so. If we have, uh, if you want to see, you know, uh, in a year of the Christmas sale from last year, you'll be able to look at, um, you know, all the deals from that store, look at the dates and be able to see, you know, when it's only November, you can see last December's uh, deals that were posted. So you can prepare and already be, uh, you know, scanning ahead of time uh, before those deals are even announced. Uh, so we're going to get right into it now, and uh, the first uh, thing to show you is the custom stores. Uh, so if we click on this tab up here, um, we can select whatever stores we want to see. Uh, so if you only want to select uh, the ones that have TA support tactical arbitrage or the ones that have tactical arbitrage with the UPC sites, uh, you can just click on these boxes, uh, and it's going to uh, select those. Um, so what that's going to do is it's going to show you. So what you can do here is you can select all the stores that you're interested in. Um, let's say we want to find Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, Pottery Barn. Let's say all the pottery barns. Pier 1. Then click on Save Custom Stores. And then those are going to be added to our custom site. So if we scroll down to Uh, pottery bar and teen, we can see that um, it's it's selected. <clears throat> so if we go back to our main search, and you just click on a step ahead here, it'll always take you back to your main search page. Now, if we look at uh, view custom stores only now, it's going to show us only the ones that we uh, have selected. So here's Saks Fifth Avenue and Pier 1, Pottery Barn Kids, another Saks, um, Pottery Barn Teen, Pier 1, and we're only going to see those deals. 
Uh, and then if we unselect that, it's going to show us everything again. So it's that simple. It's, it's just on the fly, and when you click it, it changes it over. Now, as you can see here, there's already deals that have been expired. So if we click on uh, view current deals only, you can see there's six right now. It switches over to seven because one of these has, uh, has already expired. So it's going to be showing you historical information. It's already saving uh, all that data. Uh, so now if we go back to the main search, uh, view current deals only, of course, we can click on uh, view TA support sites and it's going to show us only the support of the sites that are supported by tactical arbitrage uh, and uh, then if we click on view UPC sites only it's going to narrow it down even further to show us only the sites that uh, have UPC support on tactical arbitrage so there's a lot of options for uh, preset sorting that you can do and once you save those custom stores they're going to be there uh, forever and we're always adding more sites. There's over 800 sites supported. And uh, once again, if we go over to the custom store page, we can scroll all the way to the bottom. Um, and you can uh, scroll up and down and see all the sites that are supported. Uh, obviously, Tactical Arbitrage doesn't support uh, over 800 sites, but we currently have about 810 sites that are uh, supported uh, with our Step Ahead tool. Uh, tactical arbitrage has about 350 in the U.S., and we're looking to expand into other countries very soon. Uh, as, as soon as we get the launch done and everything is complete, we're going to be doing uh, the U.K. and maybe some other sites as, um, platforms as well. And of course, if you'd like to add anything, there is, uh, if you find any issues anywhere, uh, there is a, a button here on the right hand side of every uh, lead that we put in here to report issue. So uh, if you have an issue or any kind of request that you'd like, you'd like to see a new site added here, uh, as long as it's a platform that we support, like currently it's only a US based site, so you can uh, enter that in there or uh, you know, if you find any bugs or issues or any problems and, um, you know, or requests for features, uh, anything you'd like us to do, uh, you can just click on that on any, uh, any of these lines here. Uh, it doesn't have to be a specific issue with uh, that site. Now, moving on to uh, the deals that you get. Uh, and, and the way it works, obviously, you know about this before you signed up, um, but what, the way it works is we have signed up for um, 800 different websites uh, that we do sourcing at and that we've gotten requests for. Uh, you're going to get um, what we do is we sign up for their mailing list. So this is only uh, usually the list that go out to their customers, and we've archived this all into a single page. So um, what we do is we physically go through. I have employees that work. Um, multiple full-time employees that go through over a thousand emails a day now because we have over 800 sites. Um, so we're going through um, 20 to 30,000 emails uh, a month uh, at this point. <clears throat> uh, so, you know, it comes out to, you know, about a thousand a day that we go through and physically look at and find the deals in those emails that are worthwhile. Uh, for people who are doing online arbitrage. So the deals where it's saying you buy this specific toy, and you're going to get 20% off of it, um, you know, things like that are not useful to us. We're looking for uh, the things that you see in the deals here. We're looking for 20% off your entire order. We're looking for, you know, 50% uh, off on shoes or, you know, 20% off on a brand or, you know, the things that you see right here um, on this page. So we're going to take those and we put them onto the sheet that you can then use and decide as your starting point for your sourcing for the day. If you're using tactical arbitrage, you can go and source at that store. If you're doing manual searching or whatever, or you're using VAs or whatever it is, you can, you now have a starting point. You know where those deals are. So you start out where the deals are and then you go and find things that other people aren't finding because, you know, they might not have 70% off 
uh, you know, in the spring deals or 20% off site wide. So you're already getting a leg up on your competition by having that extra 20% off or whatever the deal may be. So let's break down everything you get here. First, you have a live search. So if we're looking for a, um, a certain store, you can just type it in and it's going to come up. You don't have to type in the whole thing and press enter. It's going to do it letter by letter automatically. So if we're looking for Pottery Barn, we can type P-O, and we're already narrowed down to four stores. If we do it one more, then Pottery Barn is the only thing uh, that you're going to see. Uh, now I'll show you what, and uh, almost all of these are, um, are sortable, so you can sort by store name, you can sort by the date, the start date, the end date, um, and then you'll be able to, um, you can see when the, the soonest ones to start, the closest ones to ending are. Uh, we even find deals that are before they actually even start from time to time. So when you have those deals, you know, 50% off of kids and baby, for example, at Old Navy, you can go there and you can uh, sort those out and get, um, get those deals before the sale may even start. Um, so we see if it's a supported site. We tell you right here on this list. You don't have to go to the other page. Uh, if it's a T, uh, tactical arbitrage supported site, and also if it has U, UPC support in the page, um, you know, and that would work for uh, not just tactical arbitrage, but any sites that you're, um, you know, any tools that you're using for scanning. Uh, your start, the, the deal start date, the end date, uh, the link to go right to the deal. So whatever the deal is. Uh, this is going to take you to um, that area that they, the deal they've supplied to us. Um, when the deal was posted, uh, how much of a discount it was. So here it's 18.5% with card pool. And if you click on it, it's going to take you right to that page uh, for, uh, for card pool. Um, cash back, these are all the ones that uh, have cash back. And of course, if there's none available at the time, it'll say NA, uh, but this one had 10% uh, cash back with you promise, and it'll take you right to uh, the page for that. Um, uh, for the cash back sites, it actually takes you to uh, cash back monitor, so it's going to take you to that page. So um, we show what the best deal was when it was posted, but there may be a better deal now, or you may want to use um, miles or points or whatever it is, so it's going to take you right to that page for Old Navy um, in this example. And uh, as we can see, uh, you promise actually doesn't have that deal going on anymore um, because, you know, they start and end, you know, sometimes within days. So um, we do update the this data about once a week for the, um, for the cash back uh, and discount gift cards. Um, so we, we will update these as well as um, on their individual pages. Uh, and then if there's a Gumroad list, if we've created one or somebody else has created one for that site, uh, we will put that in there. So if you want to buy a list from somebody, we'll have the link uh, right to go to the, um, the Gumroad page uh, for that. As you can see, many of these don't have it, but when they, when they do, um, we put them in there, and of course, uh, the most popular ones that we're going to find down here, if they're not supported by tactical arbitrage, we're going to, um, you know, we're trying to create those custom, uh, you know, sites that, that you can then purchase if you'd like to, uh, to start um, scanning them yourself, when only limited people have access to that. Now, the next thing uh, I'm going to show you is the steel history at the top. So what this is going to do is uh, similar to turning off the view current deal, so you can see all deals that have been posted. We can look at the deals uh, for a specific site only here. Uh, so if we go to, let's see, Saks Fifth Avenue, we can see that there's been three deals posted. 
Uh, and, you know, as time goes on, they always have deals going on. So, you know, this is going to just keep growing and growing. And then we'll be able to look at um, all the deals and the discount gift cards that were available at the time it was originally posted and uh, all that kind of good stuff. So um, then the next thing is uh, we're going to take you back to the, um, the sheet, uh, which this will uh, eventually get integrated into the page. Um, we're not after the end of the week, we won't be posting the deals in here anymore, uh, but you're still going to have all the historical information for um, all the cashback and gift card sites. Um, so you can have all the deals for uh, Card Bear, Gift Card Granny, and Gift Card Wiki um, in these tabs, which we'll link to from uh, right from the site, so you don't have to save this. Um, but Card Bear alone has over 400 sites. You can see what the average discounts are, the current discounts, the links to buy them, the name of the sites. And, um, then Gift Card Granny uh, also has the check balances. So you'll be able to check the balance uh, for those sites <clears throat> um, right here through the page. Um, so you just click on the link and it'll take you to the Gift Card Granny um, page for checking the balance on a card get a card or you're dealing with a new gift card site and you're not sure what the balance is, you can check on that right there. Uh, then of course it's got all the, um, the times it was updated, the average discounts, current discounts uh, for all of these sites. And some of these have close to a thousand sites that are supported. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Any questions or comments or anything we can do to help you make this easier or expand this. We're, we're really looking to add uh, lots of new features. So uh, any ideas to make this even easier for you guys, please click on that report issue button and we'll be happy to, um, to add whatever features um, you think will um, make this any better for you guys. Thanks a lot.